hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can further achieve more dynamic behavior uh, from your sorting so in the previous video I've showed you that you can put this field anywhere and it will sort the values accordingly so oops I just uh, dragged it outside so no worries uh, the idea is that uh, we will create a parameter and with the help of parameter selection we will do the sorting based on the fields all right so first thing is create a parameter so i will just go here and click on parameter and the parameter name is uh, sort by let's say and it is nothing but the string and it's a list of values um, sort by segment and or sort by not the segment but the category category sort by sub category so this is one example you can further extend it based on what you need is click ok uh, already exist uh, sorting by I have created something else earlier so I'll just go ahead and uh, show it here on the show parameter control sort by category sort by uh, subcategory so right now it is not connected to any uh, calculated field so i will create a calculated field which is uh, sort by category. i don't know why i'm writing segment again and again so sort by category um, and this category is if uh, sorting by is equals to sort by category then and then the same expression which was uh, sum of sales else zero and all right now our calculation is valid i'll just copy this so that i don't have to write it again apply okay one is sort by category and another one is sort by subcategory so i will just go and create another field uh, and say sort by subcategory and put this thing here and sort by subcategory yeah so the value what it is here is same so once it is done we will just click apply it and okay now what we need to simply do is click over here sort by category uh, just to put it there all right so let's quickly change it to discrete and put it over here okay sort by subcategory by category and then sort by subcategory it will not come we need to change it to discrete and over here all right so after this uh, let's try to change it so now we have sort by category sort by subcategory so now we have sort by subcategories as you can see it is coming zero so it is not properly sorting it so maybe some issue over here uh, how we are picking up the values so add it because sort by small b okay now you have it in action so this way you will give that control to the end user for this chart within a dashboard and they will be able to play it so that's pretty much it i wanted to talk about and i'll meet you in the new video for the new topic